So hello YouTube, and today I have an unboxing for you of the Samsung STB E7500. Make sure you watch to the end of this video as I have some important information to tell you about this product. So let's get this box open. First we have some literature which contains the user manual, quick start guide, Samsung repair plan and a piece of paper with a customer care number on it. Next we have the included wires which are an aerial cable and RCA cables for connecting the unit to your TV. Note the power cable is wired into the unit itself. Here we have the remote which requires two AAA batteries which are included. The set top box is nicely protected by polystyrene and if we give it a gentle shake it should come out. And that's all we have in the box so let's push it to the side for one second and get the unit up front and centre. If we remove all the packaging we can see the unit itself and if we remove all the labels in protective plastic we're ready to go and use this box which has some pretty cool features. We'll take a quick look at the ports, so we have RF in for your aerial, then RF out to send the signal through to your TV using the provided cable. Next we have HDMI out, which is what's recommended for high definition pictures to your TV. After that we have a LAN Ethernet port, in case you don't have Wi-Fi, as well as a USB port. Following that we have RCA outputs for your TV. If you use this, the picture to your TV will not be high def. So if your TV is HD ready, get a HDMI cable. And finally we have an optical port for digital audio. As I said, the power cord is fixed into the unit. If you want to learn more about the features of this product, check the link below to go and check this product out. Now, this is the second of these units, as the first one was a defective unit, and sparked and popped from the inside when I first turned it on. I thought it might have been a dodgy unit, so I returned it and requested a new one. When the new one arrives, I plugged it in and none of the lights lit up on the unit. Another one not working. So again, I am returning it, and I am getting my money back. I am going to be buying a similar Panasonic unit, so stay tuned for an unboxing and review of that. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend this unit to you as none of the ones I have had have worked. But if you fancy giving it a go, then go for it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.